The San Francisco 49ers back in the Super Bowl for the eighth time in their history. And there it is. The 49ers are going to the Super Bowl. This is not the one that we set out to get. Let's go. All right, it's not the one we set out to get. They now face the league's current dynasty. In case you didn't know, we're going to the Super Bowl. Yeah! Kick it, Chiefs Kingdom. You wake up late for school and you don't want to go. You gotta fight for your right to party! KC earning the right to fight for a repeat party. This is their sixth trip to the final stanza. Gonna know. <laughs> So much for the purple-red script theory, these two teams coming in blasting Doja. Bang. Bang. Time to paint the town red. Ugh. Our team was set out for this for a long time. It's been a long year to get to this point, and we got it done today. I'm just saying, we ain't done yet. We ain't done yet. Hey, we're not done yet. 49ers Chiefs did not face each other this season, did a few years back though in the final dance, Kansas City besting San Francisco behind a Patrick Mahomes comeback effort. Ah! 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 Mahomes 3-0 in his career against the Niners. We ain't done! We ain't done! A lot different about this meeting. Not doing 58 matchups would be a two hour special, but have a lot to run through. Start with our top dog, do it, dog. Which, broadly speaking, is Kansas City's defense, second in points per game allowed. Say Flowers hit short of the end zone and fumbles the ball. Against a San Francisco offense, third in scoring. Deep shot to Brandon Ayuk gets the flow. Oh, he caught it! Caught! 49ers went for 34 in the conference championship game. They give it to Mitchell off the right side. Touchdown! Chiefs defense they face held seven of their last opponents under 21 points. Our defense was outstanding. Their last outing held a Baltimore offense that was dropping 30 at home in their sleep to 10 points. Fumbled, recovered by Kansas City. Jackson throws deep middle for the end zone intercepted. The Flowers, he dies. The ball came out. Recovered by Kansas City. The Ravens offense they faced first in rushing attempts, 30th in pass attempts. The San Francisco offense they face next, 32nd in pass attempts, 8th in rush attempts. Right side, breaks the tackle. McCaffrey, foot race, taken down inside the five. KC's defenders were mostly focused on a QB running in their latest win. Central figure to San Francisco's offense is a running back who headlines key matchup number two. I'm just proud to be a 49er. And uh, we got one more. CMC, the number one back in the NFL in 2023. CMC detonates for 50 more yards. Explodes for a fat one. Versus a Kansas City defense that gave up 4.5 yards per run to running backs this year. That gets a Sarah Lynn. That's too much, man. We lean on you right here. Yeah, let's go. And saying it one more time, Christian McCaffrey runs for 75 yards in a game in 2023. San Francisco's almost impossible to beat. That's a, obviously a great team. Um, great defense big challenge uh, on a big stage and we're excited about it 49ers 12 and 1 when he hits that mark after their conference championship game win Just so proud to be a part of this group McCaffrey breaks a tackle McCaffrey down the sideline still on his feet surging forward showed a lot of resilience this week last week McCaffrey's gonna get it and he walks in and uh yeah, just pumped up. McCaffrey ran for 90 yards against the Lions, two scores. Purdy takes the snap, toss to McCaffrey, coming right, cuts back inside, breaks the tackle, 20, 15, 10, McCaffrey, first and goal to go, 49ers! Part of the reason Kansas City wasn't hurt by Baltimore's rush attack, they made them chase them on the scoreboard. You never want to get Patrick Mahomes the lead, he's a fantastic football player. One of the, probably is going to go down, one of the best ever do it. They need a big game from their linebackers, Nick Bolton, Drew Tranquil, Willie Gay, if he's healthy enough to play. Tries to get away from the defender, Gay, but nothing doing. Ran right into Bolton. Justice Hill got decleated by Drew Tranquil. Another superstar checks in at matchup number three. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Mahomes against a San Francisco pass defense that held quarterbacks to a 79.6 rating, fourth lowest. <laughs> 2023, the worst iteration of Mahomes we've ever seen. When it came time to put the hammer down, uh, they put the hammer down. Yet, here he is again, and he has momentum. No one hung their head, and everybody was ready to go, and now we're going to the Super Bowl, and like I said, we're not done. No interceptions in his last four games, back-to-back 100-rate games. Fires it near side to Kelce, comes back to the ball, and holds it in, touchdown! 
Mahomes just faced the top defense football had to offer this season. 30 for 39, 241 yards, a TD, no picks, a rating over 100. Got Valdez Scantling wide open at the 20-yard line. And that is going to do it. The Ravens are out of timeouts. And this season is out of days. He threw more interceptions this season, posted career lows in most passing yard categories. Does that matter to anyone at this point? Every single play! Everything you got! You find a way to get a win! As we just mentioned, though, San Francisco's season numbers against the pass, top shelf. Gave up a lot of yards to Jared Goff, but held him to under seven yards per attempt. That's a good thing. Goff, pressure, in trouble. Throws on the run, incomplete! And the gamble on fourth down does not pay off. Held him under a 90 rating, also a good thing. At number four, Brock Purdy, the 2023 QB stats king. Brock Purdy is now the single season San Francisco 49er passing leader. Versus a Kansas City secondary that held quarterbacks to an 83.6 rating this season. I got y'all. Hell my bag. Hell my. You know it. Like Mahomes, Purdy has had his ups and downs. His last two games, sub 90 rate in each. He was picked off by Detroit, but Purdy also threw for over 265 yards against the Lions, over eight and a half yards per attempt. He competed his ass off today. He kept grinding and uh, was unbelievable there in the second half. There's Purdy on a roll and he's going to get sacked. No, he got not. away from the sack and a roll to his left and he'll throw to the sideline. It's caught up by Kyle Yushin. An unbelievable play by Brock Purdy. Looked like he was sacked. He ducked under the sack. All he's done since he's been here uh, is play at an elite level and everything starts with him. Brock had 10 100 rate games in 2023. He is the third Mr. Irrelevant to make a Super Bowl, a kicker and a linebacker the other two. He's the lowest draft pick ever to start the big game. Pressure steps up, going to run, has a little room. Purdy with a nice move, first down. Purdy's still going, staying on his feet. Down to the five. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. So proud of you. Love you. Two undrafted quarterbacks have made it for what it's worth, Jake DeLome, Kurt Warner. We had a lot of doubters from the beginning of the season. No one believed in us. The defense is rolling and getting stopped, so let's just take the, take the safe choice, get the ball out of my hand, don't turn the ball over, and let's go win a football game. The Chiefs' defense Brock goes up against is elite. He wide so hard to throw against this secondary gym. They gave up a lot of yards to Lamar Jackson in the conference championship game, but they held a quarterback who most think is this year's MVP to a 75.5 rate, only one touchdown, they picked him off. Fires down the middle, back of the end zone. Oh, no. and it's intercepted! It's picked off in the end zone. Birdie's pass protection. He did take a couple sacks in the conference championship round, but San Francisco was tied for the sixth fewest sacks on the year. Kansas City's pass rush, second most bags. This is a monster matchup. Loftus has him wrapped up around the shoulders. The fight starts in the middle. Center Jake Brendel guards John Feliciano, Aaron Banks, versus first team all pro defensive tackle Chris Jones, 10 and a half sacks, commands double teams all game long, and still breaks on through to the other side. Hey, can he get home? Yes. Two? Yes. They can. They can. They can. He's so good. They can. Go. Chris Jones! You got him! It's a seven figure sack, and the sideline is going crazy. On the right side, it'll be San Francisco right tackle Colton McKivitz, guy who gave up the most sacks on their line for the season against Kansas City's George Karloftis. Also 10 and a half sacks for the year, buried Lamar once. Watch right here how he throws Moses' hands down, uses his leverage against him. McKivitz hasn't allowed any sacks in the postseason. He held Aiden Hutchinson at bay in their win over the Lions. First team All-Pro Trent Williams will be at left tackle. He'll do battle with Mike Dana, a six and a half sack dude. Number six, tied to number five, Purdy versus Kansas City's Blitz. Chiefs blitzed at the fifth highest rate this season. And they got him, the safety blitz. And Spags keeps blitzing. Blitzing and blitzing. Purdy eight blitzes up like Shooter McGavin eight. Well, no. I, dude. But he put up a 132.3 rating against it this year. 15 touchdowns, only two picks. Late blitz coming. In trouble. Purdy stays up on his feet somehow and now throws it and has a completion. At number seven, a San Francisco secondary that held tight ends to the fourth lowest rate this season versus the one and only Travis Kelsey. <laughs> Let's go! Kelsey has been on fire in the postseason. Travis is always fired up, but with the playoffs, he's even more so. He now has more playoff receptions than any player in history, so this is his time of the year. Mahomes down the field, wide open, 
It's Kelsey again, who's having just a monster first half. 11 targets, 11 catches, 116 yards, and a TD versus a Ravens defense equipped with a first-team All-Pro safety in the conference championship game. Throwing at the goal line, and it's caught by Kelsey for the touchdown. And you can't discount what Travis's special lady friend's impact is. And that creates the first Taylor Swift sighting of the day. When Joe Beercan's woman shows up to see him playing pickup at the local park, he gives a little extra something. Something. Hey, get the juices going! It's human nature, folks. More! We need more! Let's go! Let alone if she flew in from Japan to see you hit a game-winning three against Fred. One of the longest plays of Travis Kelsey's career! She's not my special lady friend. No movement! Straight up! We moving their head! Let's go! Dominate! Dominate! One at a time! San Francisco linebackers Dre Greenlaw, Fred Warner, safety to Sean Gibson are all a tough draw so Kelsey won't have it easy. Fred played like to me like a NFL defensive MVP. But as well as they played the position this year, they did give up nine catches, 97 yards to Sam Laporta the last time we saw them. Mallory Archer will tell you that can lead to ants. Woo, that ball coming. Number eight, San Francisco star tight end George Kittle versus a Kansas City secondary that held the position to the seventh lowest rate. Kittle quiet versus Detroit, first teamer this year over a grand through the air. He'll do battle a lot with Chief Safety Justin Reed. He had a good season for Kansas City, comes in off a good game. He balled versus Baltimore. Pressure, and they got him. That is Reed coming up, the safety blitz. And the Chiefs only gave up 31 yards to tight ends Isaiah Likely and Mark Andrews in the conference championship game. Second and 10 to the end zone again, and it is intercepted. Number nine, San Francisco's Debo Samuel, Jawan Jennings, Brandon Ayuk versus Kansas City's cornerbacks, Legereus Sneed, Joshua Williams, Trent McDuffie. Sneed is Kansas City's lead cover man. He travels. He's locked up the best of the best all year. Sneed! It's out. Who has played as at the highest level this entire season, Jim, and makes the biggest play of the season. Somehow, Snead didn't make first team all pro this season. Nickel cornerback Trent McDuffie did, though. Here's the pass. Aaron is broken up at the 10 yard line by McDuffie. They'll chase Samuel around, led the Niners versus Detroit, eight catches, 89 yards. Purdy over the middle, and Samuel in stride, and Debo Samuel, a strike from Purdy down to the 41. Ayuk has been the 49ers' most consistent pass catching threat on the season though. He had over 1,300 yards, made second team all pro. He scored versus Detroit, came up with an iconic playoff catch against the Lions. Here's Purdy with a lot of time. Steps into one. Watching deep, going for Brandon Ayuk. It is. Oh, he caught it off the ricochet. Penalty. Is he in? What a play from Ayuk. Let's see if it stands. I'll tell you what. It's about as, this is the best play they've made all day. And Switch back to Kansas City's wide receivers versus San Francisco's cornerbacks for a 10th matchup, specifically Traverius Ward versus Rasheed Rice. Ward, like Sneed, a lockdown traveling guy. It's intercepted. San Francisco gets the pick. It's Ward high kicking it all the way. Touchdown, 49ers. So he'll spend a lot of time in front of Rice, Kansas City's top wideout. Not a lot of yards, but eight passes caught versus Baltimore. Rice breaks free, bounces off another hit by Roquan Smith. He emerged as Mahomes number two this year, 900 plus yards as a rookie. Hey man, man, we gotta take a shot, so what? Man open, caught, Rice! Well, that man strictly man like. Rice moves all over the formation, so he'll also do battle with San Francisco cornerback Diamador de Lenore, another guy who had a good 2023. 49ers held wideouts to the seventh lowest Rate. Had that ball tipped from behind, and it is, it is caught, intercepted. intercepted. Kelsey and Rice account for most of Mahomes' targets. He sprinkles in the rest of their guys. You've got MVS. Just when Chiefs fans thought he couldn't drop any more passes, he goes and does something like he has the last two games and totally redeems himself. He goes long and on his back to ice it is Marquez Valdez Scantling for the second straight week. Valdez Scantling has four receptions in their last two games, two of them in the fourth quarter that would have the pretty clutch commercial guy excited. He's able to get ahead of them and go down the field and connect at the 16-yard line, and Valdez Scantling has another big catch. Chiefs wide receiver Justin Watson, third in targets for their team this season. Somehow got away to the end zone, and it's caught for the touchdown, Justin Watson.
San Francisco's pass rush, of course, could impact what Mahomes and those guys are able to do. They were a top 10 sack unit, but only one team gave up fewer sacks than Kansas City. Left tackle Donovan Smith has been tough to beat. He'll go mano a mano with Chase Young. Hasn't had a full sack in eight straight games, but he had seven and a half for the season. Chase Young here, when he sees the quarterback's back, he's going right for the quarterback. He is not chasing the play action better at least have one hat on Chase Young. You can't just let him run free. On the right side, it's Nick Bosa versus right tackle Jawan Taylor. He's the NFL's offensive laundry king. Holding offense, number 74. After this is the goal, spot, we play second down. Bosa had both San Francisco sacks versus Detroit, and he had to beat an elite right tackle in Panay Sewell, too. Well, it's coming. Goff in trouble, and down he goes. It's Nick Bosa. On the inside, the battle is between Pro Bowl center Creed Humphrey, first team guard Joe Tooney, assuming he's back from injury, and guard Trey Smith versus 49ers DTs Eric Armstead, Javon Hargrave. Smith was the Waldo in their last game, back-to-back -back big penalties versus the Ravens, struggled with defensive tackle Justin Matabike. He gave up five sacks for the year. Hold. Offense number 65. Oh, back to back holding calls on Smith, and now they're probably out of field goal range. Yes. Armstead, Hargrave produced 12 sacks between them this season. He gets sacked! Get in my belly! Neither guy has a bag in the playoffs, though. Those guys will also get to see what the NFL's Tasmanian Devil is all about. Isaiah Pacheco, 900 plus yards in his year two, 4.6 a carry. Seeing the screen working already, looking, diving under. The first wave is Pacheco for another chunk play and a first down Kansas City. 65 plus rush yards in his last four games. Chiefs don't run a lot, of course, but the 49ers defense hasn't been especially strong versus running backs. Part of the reason they struggled to beat Detroit, they gave up 182 rushing yards, three TDs on a fat 6.3 a carry. Another fake, come with Jamison Williams, the speedster has a block, Williams cuts up, 25, 20, still on his feet, Jamison Williams scores! 49ers defenders also have to worry about Mahomes taking off. The leader in scramble first downs has used his legs in key moments all year long to cover for the passing game. That pay, play fake right there allows him to reset and it stops the defenders from rushing you, Jim, and that allowed him to get a lane and create that first down. San Francisco's defense overall owns the edge with Kansas City's offense when you look at 2023 production. However, they've given up 21 plus in each playoff game and that's all Kansas City needs to win games. Love waiting, pumping. Now Luff's right side wide open. It's a touchdown. The young Packers aren't going anywhere, folks. 13 to seven Green Bay. Chiefs 10 to 0 in 2023 when they hit 21. Not savage, you wouldn't like that. To the left side, so now he fires back and the end zone caught! Touchdown! Hey, why stay patient, boy? Why stay patient? Do your thing, 21. Do your thing. Chiefs did not lose one shootout type game this year. All six of their losses, their offense failed to score three TDs worth of points. Mahomes in the pocket in trouble. Avoids pressure. Grab the ball's not free. Denver's got it. Yes, sir. 49ers offense, same deal. Under 21 points in all five of their L's. When Kansas City has been off, it's typically been ill-timed flags, dropped passes. They led the league in those. Or turnovers. They tied for 23rd in giveaways. San Francisco's defense this year, takeaway spot. Specialists, only four teams had more. Bosa hit him first and then I went and got him. Is that a sack? Sack fumble? Yeah, it's sack. Kicking game. San Francisco rolls in with a rookie, Jake Moody. He missed a field goal in each of their playoff games so far. Chiefs' Harrison Butker only missed twice all year. He hit from 52 versus the Ravens, seven for seven on field goal attempts in the postseason. Here's Butker from 52. And it's good, right into the net. 49ers, when you score, maybe don't mess with the cat purring in your lap by mocking whatever dance that is, because you know, you're messing with karma, I think. Folks here in Kansas City having a good old time. Yeah, that's right, game preview guy vibes like that. Can't appreciate everyone enough for riding along for another year of game preview guy previews and shenanigans. Thank you for making these previews the best by helping co-author them in the comments section. Go to it one more time, won't you? Let your Super Bowl predictions and keys to the game pour forth. Our panel of 10 was led by MJD this year. Congrats, he finished with the most right picks. NFL media writer Nick Shook finished in second. Thanks to all of them. Happy 2023 NFL season to all. Have a great Super Bowl and we'll see you in the offseason.